All right. Let's get to it. You know what time it is. Review time. Michael Kiwanakwa. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. <laughs> it's time to review Kiwanakwa. Right, Michael Kiwanakwa is the fusion of R&B and soul music. I should say, uh, he's. I think he's from Europe. I'm not sure if he's from Europe. Um, but the Kiwanakwa album. Now, he's coming off of his last album, Love and Hate. Uh, if you haven't heard Love and Hate, I recommend that you go and listen to Love and Hate. The thing about Michael Kiwanakwa to me is he has a certain sound. Um, it kind of sounds a little bit like Al Green a little bit. Um, it gives you that vibe of the old artists from back in the 60s, 70s, um, the Al Greens, the uh, Sam Cooks, and stuff like that. He's used a lot of instrumentation on his most of his tracks. Um, and he's pro-black uh, to the most part, I should say. He's, he's very woke. He's a very woke artist. And I don't know if he's Christian or not, but I know he's a woke artist. So, with that being said, uh, Kiwanakwa, I'm thinking I'm saying his name right, but uh, Kiwanakwa totally delivers, totally delivers. And I would actually say that it's probably better than Love and Heat. And Love and Heat, I gave a 9. I gave it a 9. The thing about this album is, it's enjoyable to listen to in any setting it's like so if you if you feel as though that you want to you know listen to this album with your girl you can you want to listen to it in your car you can if you want to listen to it by yourself you can if you want to listen to it a crowd of people you can because it's there's something and the songs make sense the skits make sense everything flows together the instrumentation is amazing and his voice over the instrumentation is not, his voice isn't, the instrumentation doesn't overpower his voice. His voice just commands the beat and controls it. And when I tell you, Kiwanakwa is one of those albums that you will not forget when you listen to it. You will always remember it. And he put a lot of work into it, I can tell. Him and his team or whoever else you know, produced it, but they put a lot of effort and a lot of work into this album. Just how the song structure, the way it's written, how he has uh, certain parts to come on with this this uh, weird, eerie voice that, you know, overshadows in the background, and then he comes in singing, or he'll use the same hook, but it'll be in slow motion, and then he'll say the hook in regular like in you know just regular you know and it's amazing this this album is a certified classic to me I gave this album a 10 out of 10 and this is the first album on my reviews that I gave a 10 out of 10 a 10 out of 10 strong 10 solid solid 10 so I would recommend anyone going out if you like uh, the fusion of uh, uh, R&B and soul and a different type of uh, uh, neo soul type of music, conscious, you know, music. If you like that, then this album is for you. I recommend this to anybody, and I would tell you to go download this album immediately and listen to it. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page, tell your family about me. Know what it is.